This is Mary at the Mary Atier, and today I am working on the little note cards that I started from the bleeding tissue paper. I got them all finished. I gave two away in my morning stream, but now I need envelopes, and I'm going to try a glue resist technique, a rubber cement glue resist technique. And I've done this before on tags, but I thought I'd try it on envelopes. And it does work pretty good with the address line and the return address. But then I get out the stencils, and I think that I'm going to try the same thing with stencils. And I've done this on tags before, and I really liked it. But in the end, I switched back to just doing um, plain old sponging on the, the stencils. But I give this a try. You should always experiment with things. I think the um, hardest part was rubbing it all off. I mean, one or two tags, yeah, but 18 envelopes, you get tired. <laughs> you get tired. And as I watched the recording, the envelopes turned out a lot better than I thought they would. Uh, I'm just, right now, I'm just putting rubber cement through the envelopes. Now I'm getting ready to add some color to it. And this is where I think I mess up. And But as I watch the video, I'm going, video, I'm going they're not really half bad. So I'm putting red ink and gold. And as I see it from the top down view, and I'm drying it off, and then I put another coat on it, and I dry that off, and then I'll rub it off. After it's all dried, I'll rub it off, and it shows a lot better as I watch it on the video than what I thought happened in real life. I didn't think it was that good, but it's really showing up pretty good here. But I was a little discouraged with it. I do a couple more and then I will switch to using some glue resist. Now let's see, do I do that? No, uh, yeah, right there. I switch on just using some plain Elmer's glue resist. And you'll see that I'm not really that happy with it either. I'll dry it off. And it shows a lot better than I thought it did. So it must have been the lighting. I'm not sure. Uh, it just, I didn't like what happened, so I just switched to using the sponges. But you'll see here where I rub it off and it shows up a lot better than what I thought it would. So I guess it really wasn't that bad. So I end up putting color around it with the sponge, and I'm a lot happier with that. I play with it a little, and I'm really happy with this. Now it's going to where I want it to go. But that technique is pretty well known. And then I just rub off the rubber cement on the address portion and the return address portion. And you really don't need rubber cement to do that. Uh, it's just a, a technique. I was like, playing with it, experimenting with it. So now I just go in and I sponge out all of the envelope. And I'll, you'll see where I do two complete envelopes here. And what I'm doing now is putting a little insert in there because I'm going to trace around the envelopes with the stencil it, with my black pen. And I'm getting out a new pen plus gear pen because I like to have a nice bold line. I use these Pen Plus gear that I get at Walmart, the markers. I use them a lot. So here I am just drawing around the stencils. This is kind of a well-known technique. Shannon Green does this a lot. And I'm pretty happy with it in the end. I do two envelopes and get them all ready to go. And then I'll stop the video and continue working on them. 
I'll only have 16 more envelopes to go. <laughs> but at the time I'm doing this voiceover, I do have all the envelopes all stenciled and everything. I just have to draw with the markers and I planned on doing that, but I I stopped to I stopped to do my video so that I can get it online by tomorrow morning. But I hope to be able to get these out in tomorrow's mail. I gave two away, Barb 1-1 and Arlene 1-1. And I'm going to send some as thank yous to people who've sent me happy mail. And then I'm just going to give out the rest at random. Keep one for myself. So, yeah, this was a, a very much a learning technique on the envelopes. I doubt that I'll be using that glue resist on envelopes again, but it was fun experimenting with it. I think it's a very, it's a really a fun technique. I like, I like the technique, but on 18 envelopes, <laughs> you get tired of removing all that rubber cement. Rubber cement is the poor man's frisket. So, frisket meaning um, a medium that you can apply, uh, watercolor artists use it a lot. They apply it and it will resist any media that you put on top of it. And then when you're done, you just simply rub it off. And it all rubs off. It's, it's fun to play with, but if you use it, heads up, it has a real distinct odor. If you are sensitive to odors, you'll need to work in a well ventilated area. So, like I said, I do two envelopes. So I'll at least be able to mail out the giveaways. And I get them all ready to go. Outline both envelopes in black. And then I'm just getting out the little note cards that I made to go with them. The ones with the butterflies. Barb and Arlene won them. There we go. I had a lot of fun doing this. I hope that you've enjoyed watching this. I'll look for any comments you have or any suggestions. And I always enjoy reading the comments. Let me know what you think. And I will see you in the next chapter.